I'm going to be starting a personal project where I budget for touring around Masai Africa. But first, we need a bike. Now, I've listed three bikes uh, to choose from. The first bike is a 2022 KTM 890 Adventure. Uh, the second bike uh, that I've got on my list is a 2011 BMW F800 GS. And my third bike is a 2017 Honda Africa Twin. Now, I've chosen these uh, three bikes on a certain uh, criteria. Um, let's first start comparing the specifications of the three bikes. The KTM has a 889cc parallel twin four stroke engine producing uh, 77 kilowatt at 8320 revs per minute. Um, its torque um, is 100 newton meters at uh, 687 revs per minute. Uh, the BMW F800 GS uh, has a 798cc parallel twin four-stroke engine. Um, it produces 63, 63 kilowatt um, at 7,500 revs per minute. Torque is 83 newton meters um, at 5,750 revs per minute. Then the Honda Africa twin. Um, has a 998cc inline four-cylinder four-stroke engine. Um, power is a meaty 70 kilowatts uh, at 7,500 revs per minute, um, and torque is a respectable uh, 98 newton meters at 6,000 revs per minute. Uh, moving on to the fuel capacity of the bikes, which I think is very important to know if you're going to be choosing a touring motorcycle. First of all, the, the KTM has a capacity of 20 liters um, and has a fuel consumption of 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers and does 22.22 kilometers per liter. The weight weight of the bike is 220 kilograms. And we're going to go into depth uh, regarding the, the weight of the bikes, uh, which is very important. The BMW uh, has a fuel capacity of 15.9 liters, it's smaller than the, than the KTM. The fuel consumption is 4.3. Uh, liters per hundred kilometers and the wet weight is 214 kilograms and then lastly moving on to the Honda it has a fuel capacity of 18.7 liters with a fuel consumption of 4.58 liters per hundred kilometers and 21.8 kilometers per liter wet weight is 232 kilograms then I've just drawn up uh, something important when we are, are going to be loading our bike with uh, with luggage. It's very important to take um, some of these figures into consideration. Uh, the KTM's permissible gross weight, uh, that's maximum gross weight, is 450 kg. That's including the bike, the rider and the luggage. The power to weight ratio, which is fully laded, 450 kilograms, is 0 0.171 kilowatt per kilogram. BMW's permissible gross weight is 440, no, 444 kil kilogram. Power to weight ratio is 0 0.141 kilowatt per kilogram. And then the Honda's permissible gross weight is 430 kilograms. And the permissible, uh, and the weight, power to weight ratio is 0 0.62162 kilowatt per kilogram. That is if you fully um, uh, loaded the bike to its capacity, um, which is not really going to be the case, you know, every situation. Um, but obviously, these figures will increase as um, you know you take uh, some weight off. So it's it's important to understand these figures. In the sense that you're going to be traveling on uh, on highways and you need to do, have overtaking acceleration. The less weight you have on the bike, the more the bike is going to accelerate. So I have left the, the best uh, for last, which is uh, the price range. Um, I'll start with the most expensive because that will be my less likely uh, choice as this is a budget project. The KTM is the most expensive at 250,000 Rand, which is understandable with it being a 2022 model. 
So it is a choice between the BMW and the Honda. Both are accepting click with bikes, but I am going to have to say goodbye to the Honda as it is the most expensive here at close to 160,000 Rand and uh, the BMW coming in at 99,000 Rand. That concludes my first part of the, of the series uh, which I'll be going into further depth in my next video. Um, thank you so much for watching um, and I'll see you in my next video.